Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Aaron. Astrological overview for week commencing the 11th of April. The Sun and Uranus continue to combine in the first half of this week. This can lead to us needing some freedom or it can see us having sudden changes of mind. Our relationship between our normal circumstances is under review. This is asking us to be a bit more inventive, to freshen things up and perhaps even be rather more spontaneous too. If there is a situation in your life which you feel is crushing your creativity, you may find yourself wanting to escape it. Or if there's a relationship where it feels that someone's very possessive or jealous, this too may be something you want to at least have some spare time of your own away from the demands of this partner. But this can also be a time to think on your feet, to look at life in a fresh way, to think about technology and new approaches and how you can make your life function in a better way by being a bit more unusual in the way you approach things. But there are some other influences too, and one of them, I've got to be honest, is quite challenging. This sees Mars in a quarrel with Neptune. When these two get into a right angle or an opposition, it can be a very tricky scenario indeed. Neptune is located in Pisces, which itself can be a bit dreamy. It's the ruler of Pisces too. And Mars is in the sign of Sagittarius, which is very much to do with freedom. Now, in this particular uh, combination, this could drain physical vitality for us all. We need to apply our energies in areas which are truly relevant. Also, Mars goes into a retrograde at the end of this week, and that's going to see uh, go on until the end of June. In fact, in the first part of June, uh, Mars is going to relocate back into the sign of Scorpio. So for a couple of months, June and July, it's going to be going through Scorpio once more before going back into Sagittarius for August and September. So I do feel that there may be something we all want to achieve in various areas of our life, which we may suddenly find that the circumstances get difficult or bogged down and just don't go forwards quite as rapidly as we'd want. And Mars can get impatient if things don't go to plan. Mars is about fire, also Sagittarius is a fire sign, whereas Neptune in Pisces is the ultimate watery influence so it can put out the flame of desire, put out the flame of energy. So that's what we're up against, but also we may encounter people or a person who's not very honest. And we also need to be aware of our own motivations. Mars is about desire. Neptune in Pisces can be about trickery. So the two together can see us wanting something and then taking shortcuts, which is not good for us. However, there is a much better influence between Mercury and Jupiter this week. And Mercury in, in, in the sign of, of Taurus is very much about tangible, grounded achievements. The way we think about things can become more structured. Jupiter's not at its best in Virgo, but it's still an Earth sign, and it can help us to be more organized and precise. This combination can, in some ways, see us be more positive and optimistic about what we can achieve but we just need to be realistic about that. There's also a quarter moon on Thursday in the sign of Cancer. This quarter moon just says, again, a cardinal influence to go with the sun in Aries. It's just reminding us that whatever we try to do, if we're impulsive, there is going to be consequences, especially emotional consequences. So not to be too rash and just go for it without thinking things through. And that combination between Mars and Neptune can confuse, but the combination between Mercury and Jupiter can enlighten. It just is a choice. Astrology is always a choice. It's not telling us what to do. It's a background influence, but the more informed we are, the better the choices we can make. And I hope you can make yours for the rest of this week. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye for now.